Hello future doctors welcome to the penicil today december 1st that is world aids day that is spread certain awareness about aids now aids is specifically acquired immunodeficiency syndrome that is it is acquired from an infected person it is immunodeficiency because the virus specifically targets the immune cells and the immune system of the patient drastically goes down and since the patient's immune system is highly deficient the patient experiences group of health problems which we call it as syndrome the main causative organism of aids is a virus known as hiv that is human immunodeficiency virus it was discovered and isolated by scientist robert gallo aids was first reported in united states of america in the year 1981 in india it was first reported in chennai in the year 1986 as you can observe the structure of hiv it mainly consists of two lipid layers so there is a membrane which is made up of lipids and with that there are certain spikes of glycoproteins which also acts as the receptor which binds with the target cells that is the immune cells it has two protein layers that is a inner protein coat and a outer protein coat and the genetic material of hiv is rna which is single stranded and as you can observe there are two single stranded rnas which are present apart from this oh. hiv contains an enzyme known as reverse transcriptase this enzyme gives the virus the ability to show reverse transcription that is from rna it can form viral dna apart from this it also contains other enzymes like integrase and permease now the mode of target of this hiv is specifically the immune system cells known as cd4 t helper cells these are the t lymphocytes which help the entire immune system to build up and the virus specifically targets these helper t cells how does it target the hiv specifically enters into macrophages and the helper t cells and it produces viral dna from its viral rna using the process of reverse transcription the viral dna that is synthesized it gets incorporated into the host dna so specifically of the helper t cell and the macrophages it integrates its viral dna with the host dna and now the host dna since it is getting dominated by the viral dna it is made to synthesize further more viruses by transcription and translation so basically the virus controls the entire metabolic machinery of the host cell and thus the t helper cell in the patient drastically goes down remember that it is the final stage where the helper t cell count goes below 200 per millimeter cube that we call it as aids till then the patient is just called as hiv positive now what are the modes of transmission of hiv it can be mainly transmitted through blood and semen that is by unprotected sexual contact with the infected person or through sharing of needles or from infected mother the virus may cross the placenta and through trans placental route it may reach into the child's body it is also observed that mother's milk colostrum may also transmit the virus into the baby but remember hiv does not spread by shaking hands with the patient or embracing them or kissing them or traveling with them or sharing of clothes hiv does not transmit because of all these modes even insect bites does not transmit hiv so do not have such ignorance and there should not be any kind of discrimination with hiv infected people coming to the signs and symptoms now in the initial level there are certain stages where the patient experiences severe form of fever lethargy nausea this is known as acute hiv infections then the patient directly goes into asymptomatic period for almost 5 to 10 years where there are no symptoms but the patient is still carrier of the disease then there is symptomatic stage which starts after 5 to 10 years when the cd40 helper cell count has drastically reduced down and in association with that there are various symptoms which are known as aids related complex or arc in this the patient experiences swollen lymph glands 
weight loss apart from that there is fever night sweat specifically and patient experiences variety of opportunistic infections the reason for that is since the immune system has dropped down many such infections occur in such hiv infected people for example tuberculosis or even kaposi's sarcoma a type of skin cancer candidiasis and other infections also infect such people it is believed that hiv infected people die of variety of such disorders and does not usually die of aids and the final stage will be aids when the immune system has drastically lowered down the treatment for that is known as heart treatment that is highly active antiretroviral therapy we mainly target the hivs property of performing reverse transcription so we are performing antiretroviral therapy so that the reverse transcription process can be inhibited certain drugs like zidovudin and lamivudin are utilized to treat hiv there is no permanent cure that has been found but we can try to increase the life cells uh, to increase the life span of hiv infected people apart from that there are no vaccinations also which have we have been able to form the confirmatory test for hiv is known as western blot technique and the diagnosis can be done with elisa that is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay the prevention methods is to avoid contaminated blood and semen and prophylactically use of mechanical barrier of contraception so that it does not transmit from the infected patients also blood should be routinely checked for before transfusion even before organ transplantation or artificial insemination during all those procedure the sample should be tested for hiv so this is the overall discussion about aids thank you and stay tuned for my videos bye